I don't never compete cause we would never even I'm the one still the one I can give you 11 reasons Rock a cucaracha, made him out of golf Answer to the altar then the plan gon' prosper Don't get lost in the hype sauce Little hoe in the club look better with the lights off Alright we're back again in the garage like always And today we're gonna be discussing Pretty much a universal modification LED interior lighting Lots of people like this um, Don't really blame them the stock incandescent bulbs are pretty dim. Uh, the LEDs do give it a lot better look, but I took a little bit different take on this because I like my OEM stuff, and I really don't like just a, you know, the bolt, you just put it in a bulb and that's it. I've had some issues in the past with flickering and just the, they're, they're too bright in a sense for some of them. So I'm gonna show you what I did and the result of at least one of them. I can't show you the other right now because the car is currently apart, but overall, much cleaner in my opinion, much more my style. If you haven't noticed, I really like the OEM look. I really like doing as much factory stuff as possible and keeping it as clean as possible at the same time. So I'll show you what I did. So the first thing I did is I removed these stock incandescent puddle lamps from the doors and replace them with OEM factory LED assemblies, such as the one right here in this door panel. There it is right there. Appearance of it is 100% same as the other one. And now with these, I couldn't find the correct plug for adapting it, so I just cut and spliced it. If you watch my other video, you'd see what that extra wire is for, but uses that smaller connector versus the large connector here. And then I'll show you what it looks like installed in the car. Now I know it's gonna be a little hard to see because it's daytime. So you won't get the true effect of how bright it is, but at night it is a significant upgrade. Much cleaner, crisper light than the stock incandescent lighting. Now that's pretty basic upgrade. Um, for the cost, it's totally worth it. Uh, I had all the connectors here for him, so I didn't have to pay extra for the OEM connectors. I wasn't going to... Um, just solder directly to the LED assemblies, want it to be removable if necessary. The other area that I absolutely hate when people put in a drop-in LED replacement bulb is the vanity lights. Did this on my girlfriend's old IS250, and every time you open up that vanity light, you would be blinded because they are way, way too bright. Unfortunately, I can't show you this lit up because the car is apart, but I'll show you my solution to having a Nice LED light, cleaner light, uh, the wider light, without blinding yourself every time that you need to open up that vanity light. All right, so here we have factory replacement vanity LED lights. These are factory Volkswagen Audi. They plug right in. They fit like OEM. They have a nice diffuser in there so you don't have a blinding light coming from above. These are probably the best investment I've made as far as LED lighting to this car. Not a lot of people know about these. Not a lot of people care because you can buy an LED bulb for $2. Well, these are Honestly, not that expensive. I ended up finding another set for my girlfriend for $30 for the pair. So for the look and for the clean light that it produces, it's worlds better than just a drop-in LED bulb. Now the last LED upgrade I'm going to talk about that I did on my car, not an interior one, it's exterior. I just recently did this probably two, three weeks ago and I honestly don't know why or how I didn't do this earlier. And that's for the stock front turn signals. I have a before and after comparison I'll show here in just a second, but I'll show you 
how they look right now. Again, simple, plug and play, cheap parts. They look good, nice crisp light. And I'll just go ahead and show that to you right now. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust So thanks again for watching. That was a pretty quick uh, basic video. Just again going through my list of things that have been done to the car and showing you as I progress. I used to have uh, a series on my Instagram called what's in the queue. So I'm kind of doing that as a video series uh, instead of doing a post per each one, I'm combining a few into videos because no one wants to watch a 10 second clip on my LED puddle lights. All right, well, thanks for watching. Takes one skip, trip, one skip, one skip, one skip, Yo, one skip, one skip, one skip, one skip. You are fucking up, bro. Get it together, man. Get your shit together. Come on.